This is our uh, team discussion slash reveal of our investigation at Pythian Castle. We're going to start out. First thing we want to do is go back to the stuff we caught back in 2019. One of the first things is this little thing right here that showed up in the photograph. Apparently neither one of them saw it. They never said anything about it. But that's our possible sky rod. And then we've got a close up. And I showed these uh, to the lady at the... Uh, Castle, when I did the reveal with her, she loved it. She thought it was awesome. And then this right here, when I took this photograph back in 2019, I could not remember where this was at. So when I did the reveal with her, she pointed it out to me. She said, oh, I know exactly what, she does. She knows exactly what cell door this is. It was one of the room, the cell, one of those, one of those jail cell rooms. And you see the bars up in the windows. We couldn't, I couldn't remember where this cell was, so we just kind of guessed at it, and we aimed one of our cameras at those windows down at the end of that hallway. She said we aimed it at the wrong place. We didn't have it aimed at this particular window, which is what I was planning on doing, but I, got, I, I guessed at the wrong place. I didn't get it right, but here's the close-up of that window in that shot. And I saw this. I freaked. You see the the outline of the blue head. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You can see the eyes, the nose. You can see what looks like the outline of the mouth and the chin, the ears, even the chest. It looks like he's wearing some kind of. I don't know if that's a inmate uniform or something. I don't know if, yeah. if it's a doctor outfit. I don't know what it is. But it looks like this blue, bald-headed dude's tearing through the window at us. Yep. So that's the reason I wanted to point the camera at that particular window. And we got the windows wrong, so didn't even, didn't even aim at the right window. I don't know if y'all ever listened to these up close in some of our past videos that we posted on YouTube. But these are these are all on YouTube if you want to listen to them. I don't know if you want. To. I've I've listened to them. Okay. This is where I had that really crappy thermal back then. It was our first oh, thermal. Right. The the image on the screen was at resolution. Resolution was really really low. It's 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 a cheapo thermal camera. Uh, really low resolution. I wouldn't get anything in, as far as the image, but in the audio you can hear what sounds like a child 
voice in the background. Uh, one of the videos, it uh, sounds like a child humming. Just three little notes. He's going, hmm, hmm, hmm. And that's it. That's all you hear. And then the other one is, I don't know what this child's voice is doing. It's, it's like a yell or a, I don't know if he's trying to holler at somebody or what, but there's that. There is a male moan in one video, a male voice moan. Can you make your presence known to us? Can you make your presence known to us? And this is the loudest one, so I'm going to go ahead and play this one because you don't need the headphones for this one. This is the female voice that I caught in one of, the, in one of these. You hear that? When I played that for the lady at the Pissy Castle, she was she spent like four or five minutes trying to figure out what this voice was saying, because she said it, it sounded like he's saying like my confession or uh, my prescription. So <laughs> she was trying to figure out what's this voice saying, and we never could figure it out. So and then this one, this is the camcorder video where I had that camcorder sitting aimed down the tunnel and oh yeah this was after like three or four hours had gone by and most of the people had left this that, that's the point where we started catching all this stuff was after everybody else had left this is why we hate public <laughs> investigations what i did was the cam the camcorder video was so black you couldn't hardly see anything so i put it into my video editor and lightened it up so you could actually see the video but this is the mr boots that we caught You don't hear no mechanical noise going on or anything, so we know there's not no right nothing else causing that. That that's the big thing I have to do to compare what we did catch this time versus what we caught last time. And we're going to start with the debuckings. Okay, this first one. Okay, this is where this is in the child's uh, that child's playroom. This is where we first come in, and I'll get, I, I had given you one of the little uh, dog toys that, that lights up. Yeah. So you come in here, and you're looking for a good spot to put that little toy, that little interactive dog toy. Watch where you set it. Watch exactly where you place it. Right there. Okay. I put a little circle around it right there. I may be a little off on the placement of the circle, but you get the idea. This is at the end of the night, and we're coming in to take down the cameras. Or you and Ted are coming in to take down the cameras. It's in the exact same spot, it never moved. She thought it had been in a different spot, she thought it had moved. And the truth is, it never did move. So that's the first debunk, debunking. The toy never moved. Okay, don't, I'm only going to include this just to show the, the huge amount of dust that was flying around. I've got the video sped up, so it's moving a lot faster than it. Is that downstairs still? Yeah, this is downstairs. 
Man, that is a lot of dust. I, I, I did speed it up a whole lot, just a little bit, just to make it more visible. But you can see all that dust flying around down there. It was just uh, uh, incredible, the amount of dust flying around down there in that basement. Okay, so we had that creaking noise that we kept hearing. And we did. And we had to look around for a little while, trying to figure out where it was coming from. So the first thing, I'm, the first thing I want to do is just show this clip from the camera that was aimed at that, those windows over there. If you listen close, you can hear that creaking noise. Okay, uh, the next clip, okay, this is the camcorder video where we found what was causing the noise. And you can see that mechanical, what you call it, yeah. up there moving. Yeah. That's, what we, that's what we figured out was causing the yeah, noise. It's supposed to get turned off. What was it? Yeah. Okay, this is where I took that same camcorder video, put it in my video editor, and lightened it up so you can see it better. Did you see that thing moving right there? Okay, so what happened was when I went back to do the reveal with the lady at the castle, she told me that, that that's a Halloween attraction thing that they use for their uh, history and haunted tours. Right. And it's because Halloween's coming up. And she said, what this is supposed to do, this thing travels. See that, see that rail that it's on? Two, you see two, three metal things that it's wired up to? It travels along that rail all the way down to the other end of the hallway. What it's supposed to do is when, when people come down the stairs as they're doing the tour and they turn that corner, looking down that hallway, this thing's supposed to come shooting up, that up. It's attached to the ceiling, but it's got a, go, a little fake ghost thing attached to it. That's why it's doing that sw sw swing in motion because the ghost is doing this back and forth as it's coming towards you. It's supposed to scare the crap out of you. And... She asked me, she said, well, what time is this? And I said, that's about 1 o'clock in the morning. And she goes, oh, God, they were supposed to turn that off. So somebody got... Dropped the ball. Somebody had to have gotten in trouble for leaving that on all night when it wasn't supposed to be on. This is just an introduction to the new uh, EMF detector. All right, and we are going to introduce our newest addition to our arsenal tonight. This is our new, improved EMF detector. We still kept old trusty with us. We <laughs> still got our old trusty. But this is the new one. It's a little bit different. You don't have to put a battery in this one. It's actually got a battery in it that, that you can recharge. So here's your K2. Yahoo. I brought the new, improved Ooh. EMF detector. Alrighty, off we go. <laughs> the big difference between with this new one though is that you don't have to keep taking the bat, put the battery in, take it out, put the battery in, take it out every investigation. It's got a built-in battery. You just plug a charger on it and let it charge up, just like the uh, uh, the way we do the uh, uh, CCTV screen. It charges it up. The big difference, though, between this new EMF detector and the old one is that this new one has a light-up screen instead of just a straight digital. And also, it not only measures the milligauss, which is what you measure EMF fields with, it also measures uh, voltage meter. It's also got a digital thermometer built in 
for temperature. So it's a little bit more advanced than the old one. And it's also a lot more uh, sensitive. I don't know if you noticed that, that last investigation we did where we got like a, a EMF hit on one of the walls and I was like, you know, testing the plugs. And it would, it would beat real loud, but when you look at the milligauss, the milligauss is only registering like one, two, three, 10, 12, 25, something like that. That's pretty much normal. It's beeping so loud because it's so sensitive. And it's, it's measuring the voltage meters plus the milligauss. So it's, it's measuring both of those. It sets it off easier than the old one did. Okay, this, this is an EVP. Now when I did the reveal with this lady, I told her, I said, there's only one thing I don't like about this EVP. And I'm going to let you listen to it first. And I want you to tell me what you think about it. Can't tell. To me, it sounds like you. It, it, I can't. I can't, I can't rule. I can't rule it out. It's possible. Well, I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. <laughs> God, it does in a way. It sounds like her. Yeah. So it's as, hard to tell. To be honest, I cannot rule her out. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. And does sound like me. Since right. I can't rule her out, I, I would call it debunked. So. Yeah, it's very possible. Uh, what's the next one? I want you to listen to this. It's a laugh. It's, a, it's somebody laughing. So I want you to listen to it first. You right. can. I want you to tell me what you think about this, though. Does that laughter sound familiar to you? You guys getting a laughter out of that? Yeah. What are you getting? Somebody screaming and saying something. No, to me it sounds like laughter. I hear it's a, something it's, it's, and then it's, after I hear that, it sounds like somebody screaming. It sounds like somebody going, ha, 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 And I be. cannot rule out Lorraine. That could be. Because to me, it just it does sound like her. So it's, just, it's just like the other EVP. It, 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 I cannot rule her out. Could be a laughter on that. That doesn't sound like me at all. Right, she don't sound like that. She don't laugh like that. like that. No, I do not. So you think it's legitimate? I you think watch. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's her laughter. <laughs> okay, she, uh, Lorraine kept getting these K2 hits, so I'm going to show two of them. Uh, this is in that big theater room where that big stage is at. there it's just hitting that one light and for a brief second there that, that, that yellow light went off so it had two lights going you don't really count the first light there's the third there's the, third, there's the, the two light the, the light green and the yellow so yeah we you was getting some good hits in there and I like the way you're doing like that because you're trying to keep make sure your phone's not setting it off right at the same time she was doing this, I was taking the EMF meter and going along those lights on that stage. I wasn't getting anything with the EMF detector. But she was getting some K2 hits right there. And this is where she was getting... There it goes. Holy smokes. We were going down the stairs, going towards the basement, and it started going off. I remember. Is it okay that we're in your home? You've got a 
tassels, and you've got a nice one. Okay, this is just the story of the blocks that we remembered from back in 2019 when we were there. I remember when we came here in 2019, they told the story about how when they first found this, this room with the blocks in it, yeah. they said they had to rearrange the blocks because when they walked in, it said, I see you die. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. I would love to block psych that. <laughs> it does, make, that it does make it creepier, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would love to block psych that. Okay, we're going to make a comparison. But first, let me show you what, I, what I've got here. This is the camera we had downstairs in the basement, right there, aimed right down that tunnel. And this, these cameras... You can actually see a whole lot better than you can with any camcorder. I showed you that video earlier of Mr. Boots, the footsteps. That was a camcorder. I, right. had, to, I had to go in with my video editor and brighten that shot up because you couldn't hardly see nothing. Right. Because the, the camcorder we were using back then was, a, again, it was a cheapo. And it wasn't the best in the world. <laughs> but... The first thing I want you to notice, okay, it's kind of quiet, not a whole lot going on. I'm going to skip forward a little bit. don't hear is right about in here you have to have the earphones in to hear it but there's actually a moment where you hear something yeah like something turned on and then you start hearing these bangs and footsteps right here so that goes on for about almost 10 minutes that right there all that noise the banging will sound like footsteps that goes on for at least another 10 minutes. I'm going to fast forward through this. I think that's the spot right there. So, some, somewhere right in there is the spot where you, you hear what was running suddenly shuts down. And as soon as it shuts down, the banging and what sounds like footsteps stops. Now the honest truth is I did not notice that the first time I listened to this. So I'm thinking we got Mr. Boots' footsteps maybe. Uh, oh, I almost forgot one more thing. Let me put, pull it back up. I want you to notice also I'm going to shoot for the middle of the scene. Notice the timestamp. This is a little after midnight, 12.32. Okay. So now, there's the next one. When I saw it that the first time, I thought, surely we, we got Mr. Boots. Okay. So now here it is, later it starts back up again. So we got it a second time. That made me start to wonder, what do we got here? Okay, so now here's a third one. We'll shoot for the middle of it. So this is an hour later. And it does it again. That's when I realized, okay, something weird going on here. We got this, this, these footsteps and stuff and bangings that last for 10 minutes. And it's every hour, not necessarily every hour on the hour, but maybe every 45 to 50 minutes it does it. It 
did it again. It happened four times where you hear these ten minutes that you hear this ten minutes of the, the, the noises going on and you can hear the machine and then it shuts off about ten minutes later and then the noises start to die off. That's I caught it four different times. That's when I realized, okay, this is something Something's running. Something's running. Something's on a timer. Right. When I showed her the footage of this, she said, There's a water heater right there. Your, ca your camera's right next to that water heater. That's what's going on. She knew immediately what it was. She was totally expecting me to say, oh, we got Mr. Boots. And I said, no, we're in the business of debunking stuff. So, right. yeah. <laughs> she said, she, that's one of the things she liked about the way our team operates. She said, most people, when they hear that stuff coming out of that water heater, they're like, oh, it's Mr. Boots. It's Mr. Boots. We caught a ghost. No, he caught a water heater. <laughs> right. She loves the fact that we go in wanting to debunk the stuff. Now, what I want to do is compare that to what we caught in 2019. Now, the one thing you'll notice about every one of those videos is that when you hear all that ruckus going on, the foot, well, sounds like footsteps and bangs and stuff going on, you can hear the motor of that water heater running. And you can also hear when it shuts off and it's complete silence. So I wanted to compare that with what we call it in 2019. It's total silence. So I don't think that water heater it, was there it's in, in 2019. The, it's in the same place as where this is parked right. this time. That water heater was there last was time. It? Okay, yeah. I don't remember it being there. But it wasn't running. There's total silence. There's no engine running. You can't hear no water heater running. And those boots, those footsteps sound so... Like, that, that's actual footsteps. That's not a water heater running. So what we caught last time in 2019, that was legitimate. What we caught this time was the water heater. Okay, we made mention of this at that last investigation. I'm going around with the thermal. Watch the thermal. It just went black. It just totally died. The flashlight and everything. So I got to turn it back on. Okay, it did it again. You remember out at, at, at the cemetery? Yeah. This thing just cut out again. Wow. Yeah. 70% battery. That's the second time it's done that. It did it at the cemetery, and then it did it at Pinsky Castle, and then this last investigation we did it, did it again. And I'm taking that as a sign of something's trying to either mess with the thermal or drain it maybe, something, I don't know. Okay, this is from our team Facebook Live video, and we were going around to the front of the castle, and we caught this, I don't know what this thing is, but it's plaque in the screen, in the uh, thermal image screen, it's black whatever it is. I cut out some of the audio because it's unnecessary. But I want you to watch when I take the thermal and go over and shoot at the uh, front porch. That's the front porch right there. That's the front entrance. But I'm going to scan over this way. See that right there? Yeah. yeah. That right there? I don't know what that is. But you can, as the video goes on, you can actually see it as it moves down, comes back up, moves down, comes back up. I don't know what this thing is. And Lorene saw it too. She came over to where I was standing and she watched the, st the screen and she saw it when it moved. She went back up there and tried to see if she could find anything. There's nothing up there. So you see that black thing right there? And now I'm going to go up here and try to figure it out myself first before I get Lorene involved. I go up there to try to see if there's any, what, if, where this thing is at, and I can't find anything. I, my first thought was maybe that ashtray that was sitting there, that big stall, tall standing ashtray, mm -hmm. but it's not above the brick in the corner, so you can't see over the corner. Right, you ain't gonna see down over the you, wall. Right, right, you can't see it. So, see how, see how it's placed? Oh, yeah, it's not yeah. in that corner. 
So right. there, there's no way to see it. There's no way. It, yeah, you ain't gonna see around that wall. So that's not what the, whatever that black thing is. I'm looking at all these chairs and everything. That I don't see nothing up there at all. Hey, come here. I'm just saying. Now we're going to get Marine involved. <laughs> so I bring Marine back down the steps with me. She's going to watch the I'm showing her the screen where this thing shows up. And as I'm showing it to her, it shows up again. And we see, we, when you look with your naked eyes, you, you okay, don't see right, nothing there. See right there in that corner where you got the right, right here is where it's showing up. Break that goes up. Right there. That's where this thing is showing up, right there. See, there it is. Yep. Where's the corner? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. There's that black thing. I don't know what that is. But it's, you look where you make it out. It's, 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 it's not there. It's beyond that. In that, is that a window right there that it's That's in? what I thought at first until I saw it move. I thought it was something behind the window, maybe. Right. That's, but yeah. then when I saw it move, I realized it's not the window. But is it still behind the window when you've seen it move? Watch. Watch. See? See it? It's moving. Oh, See right yeah, there? Yeah. It's going down. Oh, oh, oh. It's, now it's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. It's gone. The black, whatever that was. It's gone. Wow. It's not, it's not there anymore. Now keep watching. You're going to see it come back up again. That black, whatever it was, it was in the corner. Uh-huh. It's not there. It's not there. I'll cut the video short because this is the next time it pops up. It's fixing to pop up again. See right there? It just popped up. Right. Now it's gone again. It's going to pop up again. Whatever it was, it's gone. There it is. There it is. See that popped up real quick? And now look, it's moving. It keeps, it keeps going up and down. See, there it goes. It's going down. It's gone. Well, not quite. It's gone. It disappeared. There it goes. It's, it's gone now. It's gone. Right there at that corner, right there. Tap, tap down to your left. To your left. See how Lorraine yeah, walked up go, there, go, go back, see if she back, can go back, go back that way. You can see her arm in the... Yeah. To your right. To your right. She's trying to figure out where it is. Right there. That, down, down in the corner. Down in no, 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 the corner where the walls meet. It's, it's gone now. And that was the last we saw of it. That's awesome there, that one is. And Fair you wouldn't well. have caught that if you didn't listen to her and go outside. Yeah. Because she's the one who said, hey, let's go outside yeah. and walk around. Yeah. That's a shame, though. That's all we got out of... Yeah. Of course, we only got to be there less than six I hours. I know. Really. Yeah, that, that made me... Sucks. Remember in 2019, that was a public investigation. Yeah. We got there at like six. Yeah. I was going to say, it was still daylight when we got yeah. there. And people, yeah. people start arriving, and we're yeah. watching the people show up. Then, uh, I think I, I think it was like seven. We had that meeting in, in, that, in that ballroom. Yeah. 
that's where we had camera one set up, right there in that ballroom. And we had the big meeting where this team comes in and shows yeah. us all this stuff. In that one room over to, when you walk in to yeah. the castle, it's over to the left. And they they brought out their K2. Lorene went Google eyes over it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, oh gosh, she's going to leave me for a new team. <laughs> because they've got a K2 and we don't. <laughs> That's where I started making plans. Get a K2, get a K2, get a K2. <laughs> and, uh, but they, they brought out that spirit box. Oh, oh that was God, stupid. And I, I, was, I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding oh, me. Yeah. That was aggravating. That was stupid. But they brought it down there in that one room. Yeah, yeah. They took that it down room, in, me and you it, went in there. It was in the tunnel, yeah. in the tunnel. They took it down in the tunnel. Yep, they did that. And too. all I could hear was that. <laughs> That static coming out of it. That was in that one room where, yes. remember I had got you to put a camera right there. I was wanting it in the room, the camera, but we yeah. put it by the door going in yeah. there. Yeah. That room there, me and her went in there because they said that, that that guy was evil that was in that room. Right. The guy was yeah. supposed to be evil. Yeah. So we went in there and sat. And we, here comes, we, had, remember we had the camera this time that was aimed at that room. Right. It didn't catch nothing. Didn't catch nothing. Nothing. Right. But, uh, we went in there and sat, and then here they come with that stupid yeah. box. Yeah. And that's I remember, when we finally got up and moved out of the room. Yeah. yeah. I remember he took that thing down into the basement, into the tunnel. And all I could think was, how can you hear any EVPs with that damn static? And they had yeah. it turned up as loud as it would go. And I'm like, you people next door got to be hearing this. Right. <laughs> and then you could hear the dial moving as, as, as it starts searching through the channels. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you're not catching any EVPs with that. <laughs> you're picking up a radio station. Right. Because you ain't picking up shit all they down picked, there. All, all I heard was static. That's all, all I heard The whole was time static, we were down yeah. there. And I'm like, this is so stupid, you know? So that's, that's what we got, y'all. That's the end of it. That's pretty cool.